What kinds of in injuries are you seeing? Well, we're seeing a number of uh, injuries consistent with high-velocity uh, weapons, such as the, the assault rifle that was apparently used, uh, many gunshot wounds to the chest, the abdomen, and the extremities. Just curious, doctor, in all of your years, all of your experience, have you ever seen anything like this? Well, as the level one trauma center here in Central Florida, we see a number of gunshot wounds uh, on a regular basis, but certainly nothing to this magnitude. Uh, this was uh, quite an escalation compared to, to what we normally see. And, and how would you describe it, doctor, from, from what you've experienced over the last several hours, sort of set the stage for us? Well, we had a total of 44 uh, victims who were brought to us. Uh, that started soon after the the first shots were fired as, as our hospital is only uh, a matter of blocks, uh, just a few blocks up uh, a main thoroughfare from uh, the, uh, the club. Uh, so we immediately uh, instituted our mass casualty incident plan uh, and uh, started uh, bringing in our trauma surgeons. We brought six trauma surgeons in uh, to take care of these 44 victims, uh, nine uh, fatalities. Uh, many of which, uh, unfortunately, had, had largely expired when they got to us. We've done a total of 26 operations so far today on the victims. And, and doctor, I mean, that, that is so many people, so many wounded. How uh, do you prepare for something like that? Obviously, I know you do drills, you, you expect for the worst, but this high magnitude of people, how do you prepare for that? Well, you're correct. We do a number of drills, as, as do most trauma centers uh, around the country, but you can never fully uh, prepare for uh, just the, the, the devastation uh, of such an event. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, our, our trauma team is uh, uh, prepared for such an event, and we basically opened uh, our mass casualty incident plan at, at its highest designed level to accommodate the large number of victims.